Item number SCP-1053 Object Class Kedda Special Containment Procedures Due to the destructive properties of SCP-1053, it is currently isolated in Area 1053. Mobile Task Force Omicron 7 Bounce Houses is always on alert, stationed outside of Area 1053 in order to end merchants' effects. SCP-1053 itself is encased in a steel box with a sensitive scale below it in order to act as an early warning system for emergence effects. Purpose protesting with SCP-1053 has been discontinued, and as such, access is prohibited under normal circumstances. Description SCP-1053 appears to be a street map of redacted, centered on the most urban portions of the city. The date on the map, as well as its features, are consistent with the year 19 beep. Under most circumstances, the map is mundane, excepting the mode regenerative properties it possesses. See below. The map is made out of paper, and samples have shown no anomalous properties. Unfolded, SCP-1053 is 0.25 meters by 0.4 meters and folds to 8 centimeters by 5 centimeters. Periodically, note, thanks to research by Dr. Beep, the Foundation has concluded that emergence effects occur when the nation of redacted lets approximately 50,000 new inhabitants. Efforts are currently being taken to keep redacted stagnant. SCP-1053 will cause a, a limit gamma level spatial anomaly known as emergence effects. Land within a 50 meter radius of SCP-1053 will begin to change into streets, buildings, sidewalks, and other scenery consistent with the city of Redacted in 19 Beep. Actual landmarks, street names, or neighborhoods from Redacted do not exist. Rather, small details such as street lamp, the style of buildings, etc. are pieced together to form this new area. Hereafter, Ground 1053. Scenery inside of Ground 1053 has been described as extremely urban or a nest of streets, and subjects have detailed the entire place as being a twist of asphalt and dirt street, narrow roads, and tall glass buildings. The radius of Ground 1053 expands quite slowly, although external viewing of Ground 1053 is inaccurate due to the fact that Ground 1053 is a spatial anomaly. Measurements can be taken for the external area and still be accurate. However, subjects inside of Ground 1053 have reported that it is much bigger than it appears on the outside. Calculations have placed the internal size as approximately 8% of the external size. Although it is possible that the internal size is highly fluctuating, which would allow the estimation to have a margin of error as high as 15%. The weather inside of Ground 1053 is similar to the weather outside of it, although raindrops and snowflakes do multiply as they enter the area, keeping them at normal size. Other natural forces do affect Ground 1053. However, natural phenomena such as lightning, Rain, snow, and wind do not appear abnormal. No organisms have ever been encountered inside of Ground 1053. Empty places of residence, such as apartments and condominiums, have been encountered. However, no personal belongings have been discovered inside of these residences. Dresses are present but empty. Walls are barren from wallpaper or pictures, etc. After incident, 1053-1, it has been concluded that when sufficient damage is dealt to SCP-1053, Ground 1053 will immediately stop expanding. Within less than 30% of the time it took for Ground 1053 to be created, the entire area will fully disintegrate. During retrieval time, SCP-1053 usually is fully repaired by unknown means. The state of SCP-1053 before the expansion of Ground 1053 has no effect on the growth, rather, the difference of the condition of SCP-1053 before Ground 1053 is generated is directly proportional 
to the amount of damage that must be dealt to SCP-1053 for Ground-1053 to disintegrate. It is speculated that if SCP-1053 were to sustain enough damage prior to the generation of Ground-1053, stopping it from expanding would become impossible, causing a CK end of the world scenario. MTF Omicron 7 Bounce Houses is tasked with entering Ground 1053 during emergence events. Rapid response is key in ending emergence events. As the longer Ground 1053 has to expand, the area needed to be covered in order to reach SCP 1053 will increase exponentially. In addition, technological capabilities inside of Ground 1053 have been greatly inhibited for unknown reasons. To date, Beep, Tony Beep. The furthest that Ground 1053 has reached externally is Beep Kilometers.